page 83 of your workbook has a maximum demand exercise to complete. This exercise revolves around a multiple domestic installation. This installation is for two units per phase. Let's consult table C1 as it's domestic installation. Column 3, 4 and 5 relate specifically to blocks of living units. This exercise is for an installation with two units per phase, so we will concentrate on column 3. First task is to identify the appropriate load group. We have 18 lighting points on the equipment list and we also have 6 metres of track lighting. Lights are in load group A. The quantity is 18 lighting points as well as 6 metres of track lighting per living unit. Column 3 indicates that lighting will contribute 6 amps per phase. Next is 10 amp socket outlets. Each unit has 11 double 10 amp outlets. Once again, column 3 of load group BI, socket outlets not exceeding 10 amps, indicates a 10 amp initial contribution plus 5 amps per living unit per phase. In this example, with two units per phase, we would be adding 20 amps per phase. Next on the equipment list, each unit has a single phase range rated at 6 kilowatts. Load group C is the appropriate load group for the range, and once again, column 3 indicates 15 amps. Whilst we're on the topic of load group C, we note that the next item, a 15 amp outlet for a clothes dryer, falls under the same group. As such, we've already included it. Finally, each unit has a 4.4 kilowatt storage water heater. Storage water heaters fall under load group F, and column 3 states we would add a 6 amp per unit per phase contribution. As a result, we will add 12 amps per phase. The totals for this particular installation add up to 53 amps per phase. Here we have a block diagram for the previous exercise. We have a three phase set of consumers mains that goes from the point of supply to the main switchboard and then the six units were split up evenly across the three phases. So two on red, two on white, and two on blue. In this exercise, we were looking to determine the maximum demand in the consumer's mains. So for this part, we will use table C1, column three. For the individual unit sub-mains, they would be single phase, and they would actually be determined by table C1, column 2.